Odd Lake Joe plays Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the Deck Exchange! Hello YouTube and welcome to Season 3 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Exchange! I'm your host Hard Leg Joe, here with me is Captain Cardsworth, say hello! Hello! And Dead Leg Frank! Hello! Uh, this season, instead of uh, me and a uh, partner uh, making decks for each other and then switching them, instead I have made the decks both for Captain Cardsworth and Dead Leg, and they will have to contend with whatever fate I've given them. Uh, we're trying to set up more interesting matches this time, and I'm just here to host, to watch, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, gentlemen, you may go ahead and pick your uh, cards. Double oh. paper, I should have known. He, he follows my strategy, I assume. Because <laughs> most people throw rock, I throw paper. Go ahead and try again. I mean, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just going to make a book, are you? Just going to bind a bunch of paper together? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> We're overthinking this. <laughs> well, no Captain Cards... Damn it! <laughs> Captain Codsworth goes... Well, first, probably second. I forget. Do you like to go first or second, Cardsworth? Oh, am I allowed to talk now? Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. It depends on what deck we've got. Well, you already picked. You didn't even know what you got. That's true. Yeah. Although, based on what you've seen, do you know what kind of deck you have? I have a deck with monsters in it. <laughs> An astute observation, Dead Lake. I hate you. <laughs> you hate me. I already know what you gave me. Yeah, but you've got you know I gave him something similar. All right. Who is going first? Me. Oh, okay. Oh, it's red because of. Yeah. Okay. I've never been an observer before, not very often, so it's it's weird seeing the uh, thing from this perspective. So, okay. So so what's your deck theme, Frank? Do you know? Level ones. And, and you, Captain Cardsworth? I would have to concur. <laughs> All right. Effect, I'm uh, going to send this fucker to the graveyard. Good old so Pine Conio. <laughs> so I can special... Hey, Conio! Hey, Conio! And then when he's spe sent to the graveyard by his effect, I can special summon him. So there's that. <laughs> and then... I will and normal then, summon Big One Warrior, because he's a big one. <laughs> uh, so you've got a big guy and two nuts. Not a good, not a big play. <laughs> well, you, I got, feel like, you got a big one and two nuts. <laughs> the comedy practically writes itself. I, I like oh, this. Wow. I like Already, this. Lionheart. I like this thing. <laughs> See, when this attack position cannot be destroyed by battle, when you take uh, battle damage from battles involving it, inflict to your opponent the equal amount of damage you took. This card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation. You can detach one, and your opponent takes the battle damage you would have taken. So you both take damage, and if you attach, just Captain Cardsworth takes the damage. Mm-hmm. But fortunately, I think you kind of showed your hand a little too much on your first turn. I mean, now that he knows you have that, he's not going to make anything that will attack. It's okay. Mm. Now you've only got two cards left. Although it's weird to think... Granted, I've never... Have either of you seen Sexel? The show that has the Ixie summons in it? No. It was shitty. It seems weird that, like, this big one guy and two nuts make this huge lion guy. <laughs> like, how does stacking them on top of each other form that in the slightest? Magic. Also, he's a warrior. You'd think he'd be a beast. Although, I don't know. This is one of those weird cards I'd have to see in person. Because it kind of looks like there's a head and there's a mane, but I can't really tell. It looks like more of like a a beast to me. Uh, hey, Daniel, how's, how's the competition with your store going? Oh, with with the new store that opened? Yeah. Daniel works at a card shop, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Because, like I said, my, my friend's brother owns it. That's what, and I was just wondering how things were going. Well, they've taken all our nightly Yu-Gi-Oh! people, so we don't do the things on Wednesday nights anymore. Oh, you don't? No. 
Do they have like a weekly Yu-Gi-Oh thing? Yeah, on Wednesdays <laughs> and and Mondays and Saturdays. Oh wow! I'll have to go to those. <laughs> Just support all right, the all right, let's do this. All right, I have a play. Okay. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. You can't see it, but it's there. <laughs> I'm interested to see what you come out. I'm going you, you to... You both have level 1 decks, but they do have a distinct difference. I'm going to special summon him. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm going to target this thing, Lionheart. So at mm. the end of your next turn, he goes away back to the back to the extra deck. Okay. And then, uh, let's see here. But he has to survive that long. No, he doesn't. Yeah, you yours has to go back to... Yeah, it says, during the end phase of your opponent's next turn, return this card and one face-up monster your opponent controls to the hand. So he has to be on the field in order for that to resolve. Mm, whatever. And unfortunately, 100 is much bigger than 0. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. All right. Although, if you can Ixie him or something before that time... You didn't give me any Ixie monsters. I know. Because Frank's got the Ixy level 1 deck. <laughs> You've got a different level 1 deck. <laughs> I, it's like I can feel the gears turning in your head up there. It's weird too well, because... Just... Oh, go ahead. No, I'm just trying to read all these things because they're cards nobody uses. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people use level 1 monsters. I yeah, ask. relinquished. <laughs> I have to ask. Relinquished gets used. Uh, go ahead. I, I, wonder, I wonder if you if you took a page out of my book and used my signature card. I don't know what your signature card is. Lone Fire you, Blossom. No, what's my signature card for the deck exchange? Oh no, I did not. Oh. I, I don't go into such things as signature cards. You didn't Plus, your signature card was a uh, security orb. Exactly. <laughs> No, I did not use Security Orb yet. It may it's appear... Such a, uh, uh, it's a good card. may appear in future decks. So I'll normal summon this. A Barrier Synch Resonator. Synchro for two. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big monster coming out, ladies and gentlemen. And synchro summon for that. Daniel just this sounds... Looks just sounds which, so which, angry. Which lets me draw a card. Oh ho! Go go ahead. There you go. You just sound so angry. Like you're like sink for two. <laughs> it's weird because you were the one who said you hated me, Frank, and then you immediately get out something that gives you a huge advantage. <laughs> Meanwhile, well, I think Daniel's I'll like, set that and call it a turn. Daniel's like, I have a race car. <laughs> <laughs> Race car. In the battle of lion versus race car, who will win? Uh, Although, uh, race. To be fair, Lionheart can only deal damage. Like you can't, you can only. Oh no, you could. Never mind. I was gonna say like he's equal because he always deals the same amount. But if you detach like the first time and then just keep running into him, eventually he'll die first because you didn't take no, damage that first he, time. But Lionheart doesn't die. I'll attack. Oh, crap. Are you going to detach, Frank? Yes. So you take the 14. Well, I didn't think that one through. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that Wait. through. It's, again, this is suit. I, I love to imagine, like, if this did have the, the holograms, kind of like the show. Because mm -hmm. this is so unepic to just see Lionheart, like, bashing his face into a defense <laughs> position card. And then Daniel's up there like, ah, my life points. What is this? Evil Thorn! Tribute this <laughs> card to inflict. I'm going to tribute it. So you take 300, Daniel. Special summon two Evil Thorns in face-up attack position. But you can't activate their effects. You said I was activating their effects. Well, no, it says oh, that no. on the card. I know, but who said I was going to do that? Anyway. No one did. I was just reading the card. I'm allowed to read the cards, all right? Nope, you're it's, not. It's all I can do. I mean, you can make witty commentary. Uh, I can't do that. Going for doodle, doodle hand? Doodle, doodle hand? Doodle hoon. Cat. Daniel, 
What are you doing looking at your opponent's public extra deck? I wasn't trying to. I was. I hit the wrong button. Yeah, sure. That's what they all say. That's what everybody says. It's a good time. <laughs> okay. So, here's what the Wiz are going to do. First, stop acting like uh, that guy from Star Wars that everyone hates. Whose name oh, I can't remember. Oh, Jar Jar Binks. Yes. Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> now, here's what we are going to do, sir. Ugh. <sighs> Why did I invite you back? You had one job, and it was <laughs> not to talk like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> you done goofed. You're looking at your extra deck. I, I guess am. you need to see what you got. I do need to see what I've got. That's not going to help. No, no, that's not going to help either. I don't get... None of these are going to help. <laughs> uh, I'm you pretty sure I... you have a level 3 that, that can get you out of this situation. I, I disagree completely. Like I said, it just proves the point. Who's the better weird deck maker right here? <laughs> Me. No, he has a good deck. He's just not using it to his full advantage. No, because you'd say that about like 95% of the decks you built and you would still stomp me because I made a better deck. Well, yeah, but you'd give me, like, you, you specifically went against the rules and gave me search power and, uh, like, meta stuff. Not really. A few times I did that I forgot about <laughs> switching, but not every, most of the time it was not meta stuff at all. Yeah, but those times I won because I was better. No. I those... think we'll leave it up to the comments to, to decide that. No, that was you, I gave you a better deck. Well, you know what? If if season four, if, if everyone agrees that you're a better deck builder, then you can be the host, and uh, me and Daniel will verse each other. Yep. Spending an mm. awful lot of time thinking over there, Daniel. <laughs> because I don't know how I'm supposed to get rid of Lionheart. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. Power of the human spirit. You have to... S oh, wait, that's supposed to go back to the extra deck, isn't it? No... What's Remember, my that? thing's not on the field, so it doesn't happen. Yep. Hmm. If he had some way to prevent it from being killed, that would work perfectly. That's well, gonna give me that. The problem is, eventually, I can't do that. No, but the thing is, like, you don't even have to detach. His effect is just he's not destroyed by battle, and you both take battle damage. Mm -hmm. You can detach to make it so you don't also take the damage. So you're already fifteen or 1,400 ahead of him. Mm -hmm. So if you don't attach anymore and just keep attacking him every turn, you'll eventually win because he's down by more. You don't say. Astute observation, Copernicus. Well, you're saying, well, you were like, oh, I can't do that anymore after a certain no, amount of time. But yeah, so eventually... And you don't need to. But the thing is, is if he gets a lead in any way, it doesn't. It screws up. I'm screwed. Yeah. Frothy. It's a good word. <laughs> yes, frothy is a good word. Astute observation yourself there. Mm -hmm. If you have your own good words, write them in the comments next to "Hard Leg is the better deck builder." <laughs> <laughs> okay, main phase. I summon Mystic Pipper. Piper? Pipper. Mystic Piper. Are I'll you, you going to attribute his effect? Yes, to draw a card. Is it a level one monster? No. Oh, okay. Well then. Set that. It's actually kind of weird considering your deck is like, you only have like, ugh, you only have like three spells and traps, I believe. At least in your main deck. Your guys' side decks are full of things. I'm going to detach just to make his, atta make his attack 100. Because I, I can do that. Half nothing is still nothing. I'm going to detach because I'm a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Bold statement, Frank. Bold statement. I'm not sure your mother would agree. Th that doesn't help me at all. My mother would agree I'm a saint, but that's besides the point. <laughs> yeah, saint cunt. <laughs> Ugh. You're Catholic, yeah. right, Frank? Is there such a saint? 
I wouldn't think uh, so, but I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But there's pretty much a saint for every feast day for pretty much every day of the week. Ah. Like every day of uh, the year. Every day of the it, year. It's just more or less it's the the ones that nobody remembers. Is there a like, particular saint that would be interesting for Yu-Gi-Oh, perhaps? I mean, I could look up if there's a patron saint of card games. I mean. <laughs> or perhaps just games of chance in general. Or games of strategy. Okay. He's typing uh, all that. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, would Cracked make sense? Would I use Cracked? Or would I go to the like actual church? Two, I haven't the slightest three. clue. Meanwhile, Daniel's counting to three. (laughs) (laughs) Awfully long turns here, Cardsworth. Hey, shut up. I gotta make sure I do this right. It's a a very bold play if I can get it to work. Next time I know to give the synchros to Frank and you get the Ixies, because counting to three is much easier than counting up. Okay, apparently there is none. Oh. But, okay. Okay. How do you become a saint? It's really, it's a complicated process. <laughs> oh, but here, oh, this would work, though. St. Balthasar apparently is frequently listed as the patron saint of playing card manufacturers. St. <laughs> Balthasar? So, Balthasar, yes. I love the name Balthasar. That sounds he's familiar. One, he, he's one of the three magi. Ah, that's where I've heard that. Evangelion. I'll be right back, gentlemen. One moment. Three hours later. I mean, if we want to call this gambling, there's a saint that's the Wait, saint of, saint of gambling. Right up here in the background. Mm. Sorry about that. I wasn't sure if you guys could hear that at all. There's like organ choir music in the background. Oh. Well, apparently there's a guy who's also the saint of gam- of gambling, if you count this as gambling. Um, technically it's not, but only because uh, you can't okay, play for okay. money. Alright, let's see if we can... Yu-Gi-Oh! Rules. Let, let, let's see if we can pull this off here. Oh, are you actually playing now? I am! <laughs> oh, fantastic! <laughs> what is uh, this? You control a face-up tuner, you can special summon this card. <laughs> <laughs> well then... <laughs> Um, all warrior type monsters gain 300 attack. Yeah. Oh, well, well, I know this. This fits though. This fits. I don't mean to interrupt, but apparently Saint Isidore of Seville is the patron saint of the internet, and we're on the internet. That's yeah, nice. Perhaps. All uh, right. Although, so, actually, one second. All war. The, oh, you control. Okay. There's also Continue. a saint against. There's a saint against dysentery, which I, which I find kind of funny. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. But I digress. Plus two makes five. Oh no. So we bring this guy out. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh no. Because you still have a normal summon. Wait, what is this? Wicked Rebirth. Pay 800 life points. Select one synchro side from your graveyard and special summon in attack positions. Effects are oh degraded. shite. Oh shite. Oh shite. Um. Oh, it's only when it's synchro summoned, so you don't get to draw. That's fine. Five, six, seven. What's he doing? Is he going? Could he have it? Oh! <laughs> Are you Oops. using the effect, good sir? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy the field. <laughs> yes. My all level one deck got out of Black Rose Dragon. <laughs> good show, good sir. <laughs> one more star and you could have gotten out Beals or Stardust or whatever eight I put in there. I forget. But yeah, that was a lot of math. I had to make sure, make careful sure that that worked out. That I don't want to misplay and tip my hand. Yeah. That's why I had to count to three several times. <laughs> I summon Big One Warrior. In your draw phase, Frank? Okay, good. (laughs) I have season three. We're beyond that. Uh, Mimi Clay. Or Mimi Clay. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) Um. 
Um, I don't have a monster, Frank. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Never mind. I feel stupid. You could, as well. You you should. could still put down Big One Warrior and attack. Nope. For a hundred, all he's got is level one monsters. What's the chance that he's going to have anything that can defeat you? I hate Windows Eight, by the way. I'm trying to put my cursor like off the screen where it can't be seen. Don't you just hate when that happens? Okay. Why would you uh, play that? <laughs> you have no spell traps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now oh, he no. has a thousand and can attack you directly. <laughs> <laughs> and he he's shall. Not, wait, no, no, no. But he's not the only monster on the field. Oh. oh. <laughs> well. That's the reason why that doesn't get used very often. Crap. I attack you for zero. <laughs> okay. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kwa. I did well, not think about that. I, Good I could have job. Sworn Thanks, said, deck builder. If this is the only monster on your side of the field. Well, you both have extensive extra decks. To look oh, what a to. surprise. Okay, now I'm going to use this. <laughs> so now he can get another big one warrior. Where the fuck did it go? Okay, there it is. He's got two big one warriors. <laughs> go overlay. It's uh, Slacker Magician. Just defense him to death. Just use all your fences. Oh, you're gonna go with the embodiment of crime, aka Cain, or is it Abel? I forget. That's the original, the Japanese name of them. Originally they were Cain and Abel, and now they're crime and punishment. Ah. Uh, that's cool. Yep. Okay. So he's going to attack for 500. Yep. Well, hey, now he would have 1,000 because he's he'd be the only... I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Yeah. I don't think you realize what you think you realize. <laughs> Huge misplay. Maybe I'm not the best deck builder after all. Set. Go. Wait, I thought you played Big One Warrior this I time. I did. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> No, wait, no, I know. I flipped him face up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then use Mimic Clay. Yeah, all right, let's see here. Well, that's useless at this point. Yeah. Uh, and it's also useless at this point. Yay. Yeah. Well, luckily, he only has 500 attacks, so you've got a bit of time before you can... Uh... <laughs> before you die. Yeah. Unless you stall out for another 15 minutes, in which case there's 15 <laughs> minutes before you die. <laughs> I mean, you can control your death in that... that... Okay, okay, I've got it, I've got it. Oh, okay. Hold Stuff's on, happening. main phase, there we go. Yeah. Learning the phases. Yeah! Special that? summon that. I don't know secret. about that at all. And then we're gonna normal summon this. What the frick is that? It's Stardust... <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we're gonna sync for two. For another formula synchron. No, that would be silly. Oh, Paralysis. Purpalis. Oh, it is Paralysis. Yeah. A purple Paralysis, the purple. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this thing. Aha! You've lost oh, your wait, no. victory, sir. Wait, what? Oh, wait. No, oh. it's only if you control the other one are they not destroyed by battle. Oh, okay, okay. Aha! Okay. It's so while you control punishment, this card gains these effects. It can't okay. be destroyed by battle. That's why you have still lost your flawless victory. Take your so. damage, sir. Fine. I don't. Why are you so sass? That's more than you needed to take, but I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <wait. laughs> You had more than zero. Whoops. So the big question now is will Deadleg be able to get something that can beat 800 with his level 1 deck? I'm not sure. I wish I could look through your graveyard and see what you had and see how much attack it has. I'm pretty sure almost everything there is 0-0 zero, zero, though. It's level 1. Of course it's weak. Wait, actually no. It's also Wait, no. No. 
That's what you'd expect me to do. Oh, King Caballo. Uh-oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Wrong thing. Oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not going to use King Caballo's effect? Shut up. Let him do it. Oh. Oh, okay. No! Just going to make Dula Hand. Going to use Dula Hand's effect. Brings you down to 400. And attack for 1,000. And that does damage. Mm-hmm. Well, nothing gets past you, uh, Mr. Broadcaster, man. <laughs> you forgot his name, didn't you? <laughs> I am the John Madden of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good play right there. See, what, uh, what he did was play a monster that had more attack than Captain Cardsworth monster. Now... Uh, the, the first thing you got to remember about Yu-Gi-Oh! is the higher number is the better number. Thanks, John. <laughs> See, what we got right here is a, is an Ixie monster, and what we got right here is an open field. With 3,000 life points left, that's only three <laughs> attacks with this 1,000-point monster to spell defeat for Captain Cardsworth. Fiddle, he, diddle, hi, diddle, ho. I'm just going to put that down, and uh, you can go. Watch out, Frank. It may or may not be a charcoal and pachi. <laughs> I'll still attack it. Why not? Aha! Well, because I say so. It survived. It's not that a charcoal really. and pachi in the slightest. And it didn't gain any attack. Okay. I'll still detach to lower his attack. Because I can zero do that. Zero zero? Okay. To half, so five. But it's whatever. Because um, I can do that. It's one face-up monster. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to. You're just oh, you're trying to get cards in the graveyard. Hmm. Yeah, see, I gave you both like a trump card, like the level one monster that can give you a crap ton of attack. It's just Captain Cardsworth was uh, is the monster I gave him turned out to be not so well. <laughs> yes, indeed. That damn gesture. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Uh, mumble, mumble, dumble, we're going around, we're saying. Well, we gotta bring this. What do we got uh, here? It, you've got two cards, how much is there to think about? <laughs> <laughs> I have to think. <laughs> I it's have to very, calculate. It's a very, very close play. Surely you can get the 7,500 down on uh, Deadleg before he plays <laughs> his Chaos ne Necromancer. Do, do, you, do you know what Chaos Necromancer does, Daniel? Yes, I do. Okay. I don't know why you haven't given up yet. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> uh. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, okay. Hold on. Main phase. There we go. Good job. Main phase. What is this? He activates a trap. Uh, let me do this. What is this? Oh, graceful revival. No, oh. Uh, wait, hold on. I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's the wrong one. This one. No, wait, that won't work either. Shit. <laughs> oh, shite. I didn't well, think this uh... through. How am I going to count to three? <laughs> Math, 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 We do the math. Woo, 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 woo. Math. Math. See what I did there? Yeah. Good job. Okay, okay. No, no, this will this will work. This will work. Okay. This will work. I can I can make this work. We'll do that anyway. <laughs> I mean, he, Why can't, not? he can't have your attack anymore. That's true. <laughs> You're going to get Xia Long along. Xia Long along. And Effect Valor. To sink for two. Could you bring this out. Oh, yeah. Draw a card. Draw a card. What's this thing? Uh. Go ahead. Ha! Huh. Truly epic battling right here. 
It really is. I apologize in advance for the uh, boringness of the episode. It's okay. I'll just I'll just cut out all your your turns. All right. I just get, I'll just show Dead Lake's turns. All right. <laughs> oh no. I think this may be a gameplay. What sixteen times? Oh, I guess I don't know how many monsters you have. There's to subtract three, so fourteen. 14 times yeah. 3. is a lot. And it's enough to kill you. That is the moral of the story. It's more than 3,000. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Unless his trap can win. Pride of the week. <laughs> and Deadleg wins round one. Right. What a surprise. How, how does it feel, Deadleg? Are you going Better to Disneyland? Lot. Better than last season. <laughs> That's because you're not playing against me this time. No, it's because last time you were a piece of shit. <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. I am kind of brown and stinky. Siding in progress. Both look over. You both have very specific extra decks. Or not extra I, decks, side decks. I can see that. <laughs> Hopefully you can take complete advantage of it. Oh, I intend to. <laughs> this should be fun. Will dead leg come out ahead? Or a dead? We'll I'm see. I'm good. I'm good. You're good? Not siding at all? I did a little bit. A little bit? How many cards? That's up for that's for you to know and for, for you to never find out. <laughs> I'm the host. I have to have something to talk about. We're gonna swap these in here. I can't and see. All I'm looking at is a big screen that says "sighting in progress." <laughs> Please wait. Dot dot dot. Well, now I've I've swapped a few cards out, and I'm looking over the last one to decide if I want to do this <sighs> too. But I I think we'll uh, go with this. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Carsworth gets to decide again. He's the decider. Will he go second again? He will. Deadleg like. once again goes first. Will he open up with an extreme move like uh, whatever that guy was last time whose name I can't remember? Lionheart. Something to do with lions. Lionheart, okay. number 54. Can he use his effect? Draw a card? Nope. <laughs> Which Start. means it was Mimic Clay. No, that's... Oh, wait, no, some... uh, yeah, because I, I, the side deck was full of spells and traps, wasn't it? So you probably put a whole bunch of stuff in there. That guy, is that a pipe or is that a weird, weird sword? It's a pipe. That is a weird pipe. What the hell? I think we'll uh, put that out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sargasso, the different dimension battlefield. I see how it is. <laughs> to be fair, then... with, you, you could still get a whole lot around. Like, you would still do more damage with Lionheart than that would even... I mean, true. That is that is a true statement, but that's still a kind of a bitch nugget move. Well, and he's going to attack for 100. <laughs> yep. Oh, you whore. <laughs> Take that. First blood bonus. Indeed. F -f 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 First blood bonus. First blood. If this was a different kind of show. Well, maybe. We'll see. I feel like editing. Okay. Both draw a card. Both discard a card. Oh, uh, get rid of that thing. I'm surprised you kept Jester Lord in your deck at all, Daniel. <laughs> and I said, you can go. I guess he's good, like, if you get him uh, hold, down to one card. Or whatever. Hold on, I, this is a phone call. I have to take this phone call really quickly. What? Okay, we'll be back in a second then. And we're back. Sorry about that brief edit, if you even noticed it. Um, Daniel, I believe it was your turn. You've had about, it is. We had about an hour-long break there. You had to look over your cards and your extra deck and carefully contemplate your next move. Oh, disappointing. Barrier Resonator? In the old Superman cartoon? And Boost Warrior? 
right now. Um, there appears to be some background sounds. What's going on there? Is that you? Deadleg? No, I don't think it is. Captain Cardsworth, do you have guests suddenly? And Cardsworth has gone silent. Oh. Uh, perhaps he, he muted his yeah. mic. In I, I, I did mute my mic in order to address the uh, conversation. Ah, well, thank you. I appreciate uh, your professionalism. All right, so now we'll do a three-way synchro here. <laughs> I, I don't think that's what it's called. <laughs> a three-way. It's not gay if it's in a three-way. Hold on. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. No. I, I have a response to that. Loss a loss. I forgot I had a response to that. Well, you can't wait your... until after he synchros yeah, and then fine, do it. It's fine. You're <laughs> I didn't think about it. <laughs> I stop it. Okay? Stop it. Stop making fun of me. It's, we're not making fun of you. It's the rule. You've got I stupid do. blue hair. You had an hour-long wait while you were on the phone to read your face down card. Well... Eat a dick, okay? Mr. Piper. I just might. <laughs> <laughs> okay. King Cabayo, draw another card. Okay. Silence permeates over the field. Break okay. has five cards plus a two card field advantage, or one card field advantage over cards worth. He yes, sets I another card, though. He could Ixi into a level 2, but he decides not to. An Ixi into a level 2? Into a rank rank 1. I wonder why. <laughs> I don't know, I thought I gave you like Slacker Magician or something that would be defensive. This guy can only make attacks become 0. And negate effects. Although, yeah, negating effects are pretty awesome. And it goes back over to Dead Lake. It's a real barn burner. Are you familiar with that uh, saying, Dead Lake? Yes. Oh, flip up. Pink bio. From your graveyard. Um, when this card is removed from field, remove from play that monster. Oh, okay. Wait, what are you doing? Yeah, it says one. Oh, wait, never. You, I misread that, but whatever. It's yeah. okay. You can actually do that. I didn't think about that combo. Okay. Inkabio is a good spirit monster if you like level one monsters. Which no one does. <laughs> I learned that far too late. I was like, this will be interesting. They'll have to learn to deal with, with uh, new things. Um, King of Bio comes back to your hand. And you I have know. way too many cards in your hand. And by way so, too many, I mean one more than you <laughs> should. Okay. Well, he doesn't need King of Bio anymore, even though that's your clear, like, gateway into a, uh, Ixie summon. He's probably got three more in his hand. Just let him deal with it. <laughs> and it's become a set fest. Turn switches over to Captain Cardsworth. He studies over his card. His face, a, a mask of perplexity. Just, no, not really. It's just a matter of like, where are all my tuners? Last <laughs> duel, that's all I had. This duel, I can't get any of them. You're supposed to synchro into your tuners. I, I can't, okay, but I need a tuner to synchro. <laughs> okay. Just discarding cards. You're cooking something up, I feel like. I don't know what though. I've got to believe that you've had mo you have moves you could make, dead leg. And okay. now I hear him counting. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go ahead and make it uh, dead leggy's turn. Dead leggy. <laughs> Man, when you do finally get a tuner, you're gonna be what's that? That was supposed to go to the grave. I don't want that. Oh, okay. Uh, so you could have used that to get rid of uh, Colossus if you took 2300. Well, why would I do that? 
Because you don't want it on the field anymore? I have a plan. I have a plan. Yes, exactly. Specifically, to screw over Captain Cardsworth, I hope. Indeed. But does Captain Cardsworth have a plan? Well, he's flipping up his tuning wares. If he synchros, this could mean upwards of... Okay. Curse of the Circle. So, yeah. So that I... tuning wear cannot be used as synchro material. Okay, I can deal with that. So we, uh... Oh, he can deal with that. Mm -hmm. Your maneuver was not quite as tricky as you thought. It's okay. Oh. I'll take that. Mind control. And what is it? Will you be flipping it face up? I want to see. All I can see is a big brown yeah. thing with a black yeah. hole in it. Yeah, I, I didn't think that through. <laughs> Well, I assume it's a level one monster, so you could use it, it as a replacement for tuning wear. Yeah. Except uh, you have no... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I forgot to play a tuner. <laughs> Give me my acorn back. I tried. <laughs> a phrase you won't hear outside of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or really in Yu-Gi-Oh! for the most part. <laughs> I'm trying to give you your acorn back, but I can't click fast <laughs> enough. Oh, well, crap. That didn't work like I wanted it to. Oh, Lord. He's got double nuts. <laughs> Will the two acorns... <laughs> God damn it. 100 each. Wow, we're looking at a tie ball, or not tie ball game. One, it's not a ball game. <laughs> Two, it's not tied. <laughs> uh, Frank, you gotta discard another one. So there, now that you're 100 ahead, you just have to stall them out for 26 more cards. <laughs> oh no, wait, you've drawn more, so you actually can't stall him out. And actually, that's not how that works at all anyway. <laughs> It was like, when neither of you can draw, whoever has the most life points wins, right? It's really weird being a watcher. For some reason, I can't see your guys' graveyards. I thought I could. Okay, we got attack gainer. Yep. We got the jester so we're lord. Gonna, we're gonna synchro for five. Oh, shite. Maybe. Oh, shite. No way, maybe not. Can I do... Yeah, okay. Yeah, five. Sink for five. Da, 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 da. And who do you get out? TG Hyper Librarian. And of course, because of Attack Gainer, one of these are a corneos goes down to zero. Oh, shit. Which means you'll do a whole 200 more damage than you normally would. Right, that one goes down to zero. Okay. And that's the one I'm attacking. So, 24 to 0. 20. Oh, I'm terrible at math. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to figure this out? Okay. 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 You've got so many cards, I can't believe that you don't have a maneuver. <laughs> Did you just put way too much uh, like side deck stuff, so now you've got nothing but spell traps? Oh wait, shit, I have to discard. Uh, 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 lantern. Ghost tricks, they're tricky. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's the closest thing you get to a battle fader. I guess I could have given one of you guys battle fader, but I like it too much to have your hands griming it up. Even though it's not real and it's on a thing. Okay. Let's do this. He's reviving things. A tuning wear. Who is not a tuner? <laughs> no, but Effect Veiler is. Oh, oh shit. Why, oh, shit. Why didn't you use that to uh, get a Corneo's effect? 
Whatever. So seven. Oh. So seven. Eight. Um, I thought uh, TG Hyper Librarian was five. It is, but tuning where it counts is two if you use it for a synchro summon. Oh, it does? Oh, nice. Yeah. And you get to draw one, right? Yep. I do. <laughs> That's the main thing of tuning wear. To draw a card, too. Oh, indeed. Aha! Uh -huh. Now my dragon eats your nut for breakfast. <laughs> 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 Ugh. Uh, so how uh, were things with your girlfriend last night? Eh, her dragon ate my nut for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I don't think I want to know about that maneuver. I don't, I don't like that at all. Not one bit. Okay, I think it's time. Oh, damn it, I could have done something else, too. Oh, well. 3,000. Un, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, move these. Yeah, it's 3,000. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> so this is just Frank's Chaos Necromancer deck. Yep. Luckily, I didn't give him the thing that you can equip and make it attack directly. Because, because that you're... would be cheap. Because you're a good person. Yeah. Although I guess if I was making these decks like... It like as good as they could be, it would have that in there. But I wanted to give you each like completely different stuff. I don't think either of you have any of the same cards. Well, that works. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh no, not your Zygalong. Shit. Um, I think that's misclick. Yeah. I'll allow that. <laughs> but the mechanics wouldn't even allow him to do that. I don't care. Judge is prerogative. <laughs> I'm the judge this time. But it's but it's also you forget it's also fucking what's it called? A conflict of interest. Yeah, I'm the judge. See now, Frank, what you gotta do is overlay those into Slacker Magician. Because a hundred attack is much better than two three thousand attack beat sticks, am I right? I have an idea. It's okay. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. I just happen to give you great Mazu Garzit. Just for fun. I think it's original attack though, isn't it? Do you even know what card I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. Daniel, do you know? If that's great what? Mazu Garzit? What now? The monster you can tribute it's like you tribute it. And whatever monster you tribute it, it gains its attack times oh, two. Oh, yeah, that, I think that's Maju Garzad or something. Yeah. Well, I don't have cards. much of a... Yeah, but none of them are really going to help. So, I'll just set this. And, oh, I can't do that. No. Nope. I, I can't. No, I can't do the other thing I wanted to do. <laughs> Such uh, sadness. Yeah, go ahead. Wait a minute. Have Bull crap. Okay. They each get 300 more. I assume Frank's going to discard a monster. Why would you discard that one? You could have used its effect and gotten one more in the graveyard and done 300 to him. Forgot to discard. Because... Pickles? Because Swift Scarecrow. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Space Cyclone. <laughs> Space Cyclone. Um, judge's prerogative allows me to summon these and this thing and do some of this. <laughs> And some dice. Get some dice in on that. Uh, Frank, what else? What is your face down? Uh, what? what? It is uh, Wolf and Sheep's Shreeps Crozing. Take battle damage, reveal when level monsters. Okay. 
Well then, uh, Daniel, what did you think of your deck? <laughs> um, it, it it was fine. I just I I misplayed this guy with twenty counters on him. Once per turn, I, he's not destroyed by battle, so I would have had more life points because his things would have had to attack it twice. Also, I could have brought out the other one when I special summoned Stardust, but I forgot about him. So uh, I think the lesson here, folks at home, is always read your cards. <laughs> That's rule one of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's going to be in the tutorials if I make them. Like, rule one, always read your cards. Be a dead leg, don't be a Captain Cardsworth. Deadleg, how did you like your deck? I mean, it you wanted to works. kill me at the beginning. I mean, it helps that Daniel didn't read a shit. <laughs> okay, did either of you guys uh, have anything in your deck that you didn't draw? I mean, no. You got pretty much everything out? Except for Lantern, because I discarded it. Yeah. Mm, I did have nope. I used that. I, this was something that I didn't end up having. Oh, it's okay. That would have been useful considering how few spell cards you have. You don't say. <laughs> how many tokens are you gonna add to that? Well, none, because those aren't tokens. They're counters. They're. You know what? Next time on Deck Exchange, Frank wins. Frank won this one. Deadleg is the victor. Will he be able to pull things out next duel? We'll see next time on Deck Exchange. Like, comment, subscribe. Put 84 counters on your monsters. <laughs>